Welcome back. This is Talk to Life. Early morning on limited inspiration with Road Timmy and Idokun. Today, June 29th in the year 2020. The good news is that a day after today, God has helped you to see the first half of the year 2020. Think about that. A day after today, that is by the end of tomorrow, you must have seen half of the year 2020. It's tough. It's challenging. This is not most, what most of the people envision. But you know what happened? In all things, we should give thanks. But before I move to the subject of continuity, I don't know who's listening to me right now. I want to tell you about the subject of relevance. To keep your respect, to keep your dignity. I want to tell you how to do it. Why am I saying all this today? Is because... You can't be a nuisance and you think somebody is going to be there want to listen to you. Life, it's about relevance. Life, it's about relevance. You cannot be a nuisance and expect somebody to listen to you. And for some people that are listening to me right now, I don't know where you are, but I want you to know that don't ever mistake abroad from above. I want it to be written, please. Don't ever mistake abroad from above. I will look up to heaven. Where comes my help? My help does not come from abroad. The Bible says my help comes from above. And I'm going to give you, I don't know why I'm saying this. You know, I got into a rough conversation before I get online. And I think I need to share something with this. Because you, you cannot keep looking up to men and be looking up to God at the same time. When Bishop Oedekpo wants to start his ministry, he envisioned to travel, to come to the United States to learn theology. But the Lord told him this. He said, what you need is not from abroad, it's from above. I'm telling you something today. Never you put your trust in man. The Bible said in Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 5, that cause is that man that trusts in man. Because somebody is in abroad, somebody is in the U.S., somebody is in, the, in Europe, doesn't mean they are living the big life that you think, that you see in a movie. No. I'm just trying to tell you the truth today, is that trust God be hard working and develop yourself. That, this, that is the only three things I want you to know today. Trust God, work hard, and develop yourself. Trust God that God will come out for you. God will send up to you. Then, diligent, hard work. Maybe some of you don't know what I go through to stay up all day, all night to be able to do this program. You think I just want to come here? No. I have preached twice today. If you're on YouTube, you have been following me, you will know I've done two videos today. Preaching is not 30 minutes, it's not 40 minutes, minimum one hour that I did today. And I'm happy again, thinking what I'm going to write for next month. So I want you to know is this. Don't ever think living abroad equals having everything. As a matter of fact, some people <laughs> have exhausted their income before. Because here, yeah, everything is monthly. So what I'm trying to say is this. Trust God for everything you are believing God for. Work hard. Whatever you find to do, the Bible said, do it with all your zeal, your, your zeal, your zest, your passion, and much more. Develop yourself. You cannot be ambitioning to live a millionaire life and be working as a thousandaire person and you think you want to go up. No. Develop yourself. Go back to school. What can you learn? What do you need to know? Who are the people you need to make your friend? Don't ever make that mistake in life thinking you can be working with a mediocre and want to be a champion. No. You have to change your, your, 
you know, in the school of leadership, they call it inner circle. You have to change it. Let your thinking patterns change. And let air, how you reason change. Why I'm saying what I'm saying is this. If you want to keep your relevance, you have to make a change. <clears throat> your relevance. Why is it that some people don't want to talk to you again? Why is that when you come on Facebook and you just send a message, they just ignore it? Money is in where you are. If you can develop yourself to get it. Now, this might sound ridiculous, but I pay some people a lot of money to do some job for me in Nigeria. Can you do what people need? That's the question I need to let you know. So, develop yourself, work hard, trust God. That is how you retain your relevance. I will be right back as we continue or start all over on the subjects of continuity. Welcome back. This is Talk to Life, Early Money Unlimited Inspiration with Rotimi Adidoko. We have been following us every day. We develop a word or we come up with a word. I come up with a word. Let me personalize it. And I motivate you each day. Sometimes I use the word of God. Sometimes I use my personal thinking or what I've developed over time. But as we continue on the subject of continuity today, let us pray. Father, we thank you. There is nothing that can happen without you. You are our Father and we have no one. For as many that are connected this morning, whether they are, whatever they are, YouTube or Facebook, I pray that you will strengthen and guide them. I pray that uh, you will empower them for whatever they need i pray that the hand of god will be upon them and you have no reason to regret as you launch into a new week today heaven will open upon you and even as we proceed to start sharing with ourselves this morning wisdom from above will come in jesus mighty name i pray amen this is talk to life this morning, I have five definitions of continuity. I have five things you need to know about continuity. I have five nuggets of continuity. Actually, it's four, but I don't know if I'm going to get one before we finish. And I have how to continue in life. Five ways to continue in life. So, to this morning, if you are watching me on, on YouTube, Please listen very well right now, or you're on Facebook, wherever you are. I have five ways on how to continue in life. 
If you can give me two of those ways that I've written down. Don't think, don't tell me that, oh, maybe you don't know or you know. No, I'm not a superman. How I, I, I reason, I think that's why, that's how I come up with things. So if you can reason and you can think just like me, I'm very sure what I've written here are just things that you can think out. Do you want a gift? Like I said, these gifts are solely for people that live in North America. I don't know about South America. North America and all the European countries. But if you live in Nigeria, I don't know about any other African country. I can send you the Naira equivalent of the gift that I'm giving today. So, in the next 25 minutes, I am going to end this program. If you don't give me two things on how to continue in life, then you are not part of winners. So if you give me the, the result, where well, after I've started, you are disqualified. You have to give me maybe 20 minutes from now, come up with it, and let's know who wins. I will, I'm going to be starting right now. Like I said, I have five definitions of continuity. I have two, uh, five things you need to know about continuity. I have five nuggets, like I said, four. I don't know, maybe one will come before we end. And I have five ways to continue in life. But those five ways, I want you to give me two out of it. If you can give me two, I'm going to give you a new Don TV shirt or cap and we mail it to your house. And uh, if you don't live in Europe or anywhere in North America, maybe Canada or United States, that's what I mean by North America, then I can send you the naira equivalent only if you live in nigeria that is how we're going to get connected today i don't know about any other people i'm sorry i really want to extend my 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 you know my gift towards you if i find a way or not to get across to other nation i wish surely or oh, maybe we should do uh paper if you use paper or you use zeal whatever you use it doesn't matter but right now let me just put into nigeria and uh, europe and north america so let's get started one, the first definition of continuity that I have here is this. Continuity is the force of taking non-stop steps for the purpose of progress. Continuity, it is the force of taking non-stop steps. Anytime you slow down, you lose the ground. I've said it before, the weight of success is more than the weight of failure. You need, no, you need to do nothing to fail, but you have to do something to succeed. And you have to keep working to keep succeeding. <laughs> if you, any day you choose to stop, that is the day that somebody behind you will catch up with you. And you know what happened? Anytime you lose your first place, it will be hard for you to catch up. So, continuity, it is the force of taking a non-step, non-step, non-stop, non-stop, sorry, non-stop steps. So, that means don't stop. What I'm intention to say that it's a force of taking continuous steps, but I can't be using the word continuous in the world where I'm divinely continuity. That's why I don't use non-stop steps for the purpose of progress. So the key word there, purpose of progress. Are you thinking of non-stop? If you can make a million dollars, then you should be thinking of two. If you can make 1,000 naira, then you should be thinking of 10,000. How many people can buy your product? How many people, you know, one thing, I don't know about any other African country, but Nigeria is that a lot of people want to reap from where they did not sow. You want to give average job and you want to be paid excellent pay? No, it's not like that. Anything that you want in life is a product of what you first sow to life. So, don't worry if you get results or not. You have to keep sowing. You have to keep sowing. Today, I preached about it and I said, 
Any day you if you don't get a result, it's because you have not sown enough. Maybe that will help somebody. Number two, definition of continuity is this. It is the movement that channel your energy for results. I want that to sink. Continuity is a movement that channels your energy for results. When you wake up in the morning, what's the first thing that you do? Do you think of uh, the email you have sent that you need to check the response? Or you think of the post that you make on Facebook, you don't know maybe people like or share it. Or you think of following up with a business partner, or you think of somebody who you have given a job to. You know, let me tell you something, listen to this. I've come to the understanding how people, in, you know, I don't like to mention Nigeria, but that's the only way I can mention. That's the only way I know. Anyone that writes you a check, that person is your boss. I don't know what that means to somebody. You, anytime somebody writes you a check, that person should be seen as your boss. If you argue with that person, if you prove a point to that person, if you think that person is wrong, if you think that person is not able to speak to you, then you have lost the next check. The most dangerous person you should deal with is somebody who laughs to you, one, or the person who never talks to you, regardless of whatever you do to them. I will say that again. Anyone that keeps laughing, you know, regardless of what you do, fear those people. Number two, anyone who will not talk, regardless of whatever you do to them, fear them. And the last person you should fear for, anyone that can determine your life on paper. Anyone that, whatever that person writes down, will determine how people you view you, how you will relate with people. Fear those people. I'm saying all that to say that where your energy goes will determine your degree of your continuity. Definition number three. Continuity is the intentional drive that propels unlimited impact. Intentional drive that propels unlimited impact. Intentional drive that propels unlimited impact for increase. I want you to think about those three definitions. I will be right back. Welcome back. This is Talk to Life. Early morning unlimited inspiration with Ruth Timi Ade Dokun. I've shared with you three definitions of continuity. And uh, I want to take them all over again that it is the force of taking non steps 
for the purpose of progress. It is the movement that channels your energy for result. It is the intentional drive that propels unlimited impact for increase. And the fourth definition in this talk to life, June 29, the year 2020, is this. Continuity is the spirit of growth that reveals your position that reveals the position of your heart where is your heart where is your heart that's the first question i want to ask you today what is it that you are thinking right now you are listening to me but what is it that you are listening to some people they will be in a meeting and they will be texting some people will be having conversation with their wife or their, or their, their husband or their children and yet they are on the phone. What you are doing part time, it is the definition of where your art is. The spiritual growth that reveals the position of your heart, that is continuity. Are you where you're supposed to be? And if you are there, are you really there? The next definition of continuity is this. It is a definition of your person towards the ultimate purpose. Towards your ultimate purpose for living. The definition of your person towards the ultimate purpose for living. The question is, what are you going to do after this program? That is what speaks about your continuity. You know, today is the 29th, and every day I've been showing up, even when there's nobody online sometimes. Let me tell you something. If you do anything for the purpose of people's response, then you will never please God. Think about that. Talk to life. Welcome back. This is Talk to Life. Early Money Unlimited Inspiration with your road team, me, Adedokun. If you have been following me, I've talked about briefly this morning about the key to relevance. Why is it that people don't want to relate with you? Why is that nobody wants to deal, nobody wants to help you? Why is that when you talk, people don't, people can't stand you? I've told you this. If you are showing people your need, then you have lost your relationship. Including your husband, including your wife. Don't display that you are a needy person. This is how you have money. This is how people make money. What can I do for you to earn $50? The second question, I need you to give me $50. What is the difference between those two statements? What can I do for you to earn fifty dollars look at that number two i need you to give me fifty dollars because i need it the first one it's all about solution for relevant it's called dignity of labor why the other is demanding is it attempting to to reap without sowing? Come on, let me, let me tell you this. No, 
we live in a world where people can don't give you space. The level of competition out there is high. You have to create your own platform. You have to create a way for yourself. What am I saying today? I'm saying that you have to stand up and make things happen for yourself. Don't ever demand. Rather, create a way. What am I saying this morning is this. You have to own your life. Be relevant. I've given you the definition of continuity. If you're just joining us, this is Talk to Life, early morning unlimited inspiration with Ruth Timmy Adeduko. So let me quickly run, run through five things you need to know about continuity. And what I'm saying about continuity is that if you are not a person who is consistent, who is persistent, who is relevant, nobody wants to deal with you. Nobody wants to deal with you. You know, every morning I, used, I post three things. I post quote for today, um, the scripture for today, and one word for today. And I decided not to post it again. You will not believe how people are so worried about it. Let me tell you something. You will never know the impact of what you are doing until you stop it. So don't ever think because nobody likes what you posted on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter, on Instagram. Does that mean you should stop? No. Let me tell you something. Whatever you are doing, you are first doing it for God, your maker, before you serve this to people. So meeting the need of heaven, servicing the people. Two things you need to think about all the time. Meeting the need of heaven and serving the need of people. But let me continue with the five things you need to know about continuity. One, continuity, without it, life will cease. <laughs> Your real life that you are living is not the life when you, are, when you lack productivity. Your real life is what you're doing is that we live in a world that people buy data in Nigeria, as they call it. I don't know what that means, they buy data all the time. That's what people keep telling me, I need to buy data, I need to buy data. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. You buy data on your phone, you buy data on maybe on your laptop or anything, and all you could do with that is to like people's posts. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Let me tell you something. You will never know about the wealth of resources that is out there. How to sing, how to make me. There's a lady that I follow in Nigeria. All she does is to cook. She has over 250,000 followers around the world. With that, she'll be making, if, don't let me exaggerate, let's say $1,500, if not $2,000. Okay, let's say she's in Nigeria and a lot of people are watching her video. Let's say she's making $500. $1,000 now should be like maybe $400,000. $500 should be like $200,000. She's just making $200,000. Every month, just by cooking. I know of somebody, a friend, he has almost a million followers on YouTube. Almost a million. He's a Nigerian. You will never know with the content that this guy produces. Every world around the world, follow this guy. I asked him a lot of questions because I'm trying to build some the, the such brand too that he has built. And we talked... The, why is it that I will leave somebody here in the U.S. asking one to talk to me and I don't have time and I will call somebody across the sea? It's called relevance. It's called continuity. You will never live a life that God has designed for you if you continue to do something that you are not consistent with it. Let me, write, let me tell you the secret. Don't start what you cannot do at least for one month. That's the solution. Never start anything that you cannot make provision for for one month 30 days today is the 29th day that i've been coming every night to come and speak to you to come and motivate you it's another monday right now truly this pandemic the whole everybody's businesses are shut down around the world but don't you know that you can learn something new don't you know you can read books maybe okay let me tell you something if you can do this for me, I'm going to pay you. I don't know who is listening right now. 
if you can do this service I'm about to say to you, I'm going to pay you. Send me email to my new Don TV. At gmail.com. I want the um the email up on Facebook, please. My new Don TV at gmail.com. Send me read any motivational book and summarize it in two pages. If you can do that for me, I'm gonna pay you. I want you to know this, that to change your life, for things to work, it's not a product of anybody. It is your responsibility in life. Stand up. What am I saying this morning? I'm saying that you can change your life. Without continuity, life will cease. Number two, without continuity, impact will diminish. Are we still on YouTube? Without continuity, impact, we diminish. Okay, I think we are back. Without continuity, life will cease. Without continuity, impact, we diminish. Without continuity, number three, relevance, we disappear. Like I said, I think there was a break in transmission with people on YouTube. If you know you are a good reader, you can read motivational books. Maybe a book from uh, any of these top motivational, Tony Brands, any of these motivational speakers around the world. I don't just want Nigeria, I want diverse. If you can read a book and summarize it, a motivational text, and summarize it, I'm going to pay you. If you can do that for me, maybe you do 10 books a month, I'm going to pay you. I'm just trying to tell you that many things that people want to be done, but there are people not available. You know, there are so many things you can do, but sitting down around will not help you. So continuity, without continuity, life will cease. Without continuity, impact will diminish. Without continuity, relevance will disappear. Without continuity, growth will quench. And without continuity, idea will stink. Idea will smell. Without continuity. What am I telling you today? This is talk to life. I want you to talk to life doesn't mean that I'm talking to you. I mean, I want you to talk to yourself. If you continue with this kind of life that you are living right now, where are you going to have by the end, by the end of this year? I've given you five things about continuity. And uh, if you are not being uh, following I think I need to move straight right now to how to continue because of time. We have five more minutes. How to continue. How to continue in life. Please, I'm still waiting for those who are interested in my, in my gift. And uh, for some of us, I just want you to know, I'm right now, I want to add, I'm right live on Instagram too. You can check. I am Roti Miyade. On Instagram, we'll be going live on Instagram too with that ID. So, I'm waiting for anybody. What do you think? Two things you think that uh, you can do to continue in life. If you can, if you have access to those two things, I'm going to give you a gift. Oh. Uh, 60 seconds start now because I need to proceed. We have to get away from here as soon as possible. Okay, while we are waiting, the number one thing that I have here that for you to have a continuity in life is one, keep your vision in view. Vision is not purpose. Don't mix it, those things together. Purpose is the reason why you are created Vision is what you are saying to make happen. My vision is to come here and motivate you every day. That is this person that I saw on the Facebook. He does it. I never know he's going to do it for 30 days. And he's doing, he did it well. And uh, it just fizzled out. I don't know why. 
that happened. But I want to continue to do this as until God tells me, stop. Anything that makes people happy, anything that bring, that, you know, that bring increase to people every day, I want to do it. So I keep my vision in view. That is the first way for you to keep continuing. Once you can keep seeing what you, sub, what you are seeing, then you keep moving to where you're supposed to be. Number two, invest your energy in one thing. That is the second thing you need to do. Invest your energy in one thing. Don't do many things at the same time. Invest your energy in one thing. Don't do many things at the same time. Number three, because of time, keep your goal intact. Goal is simply a way or a device of making your vision to come to pass. If you have a vision to be a millionaire by the end of 2030, and this is 2020, and if it's a goal over 10 years starting next year, it's a wisdom for you to break it down that every year, I'm going to, you know, to make a million dollars. If my end goal by 2030 is $10 million, every year you should make $1 million. The question is, every month, how much are you supposed to make? Every two weeks, how much are you supposed to make? Every day, how much are you? You have to write those things down. One of the things I do every day is to come here and reason. I preach almost every day. Yes. And I write things down. What are the things I need to do? How many do I need to do today? Things like that. If you can break it down. <laughs> sorry, no. Let me put it right. If you don't break it down, it will soon break you down. Whatever you don't break down will break you down. So go is not the problem. It is you that you don't keep it. You know, you don't simplify it. And you don't keep it intact, unbroken. Number four reason or how people keep continuity in their life is to review their progress. So, if I supposed to do talk to life 30 days in a month, how many have I done up to today, the 29th day? It's simple. I showed up first day in June and today is 29th day and I'm still doing the same thing. Wisdom demand that we have done 29. So the question is, that is a check. What is the approach that I'm using to speak to people? How many people are listening? How can we attract more people? That's another thing. That's why we are asking people. The time that we are doing it, is it a good time? We are about to change our logo. If you go to the community um, post on YouTube, you will see our logo there. We have put the four logos. And we want, want somebody to know, people to help us to choose one. What am I saying this? I'm saying all these is that if you don't review your progress, you'll get stagnated one day. Because you are serving people. If you are serving people, you should not just run with your vision. You have to run with your feedback. I will say that again. Anytime you are serving people, don't just run on your vision. Also run with the feedback of people. I'm not saying some people have good intention for you, but... <laughs> my mother used to say something. He said, wrote to me. I said, Mommy. He said, Oh, when you're long, one long. If you're not a Yoruba speaking, I will interpret for you. <laughs> oh, when you're long, one long simply means the voice of man sometimes is the voice of God. God will not own. It means voice. It means man or human being. I don't want to say not just a man or a woman. No. Let's say human. And uh, along mean God, so own voice. So when men speak sometimes, that might be God speaking through them to get to you. So when people say, hey, Rotimit, I think you are not talking about relationship. I want you to talk about relationship. I want you to talk about parenting. I want you to talk about finances. I want you to talk about life in America. I want you to compare it to life in Nigeria. I want you to help people, how can I get out of debt? You know, if, some, if I'm getting such a feedback to that email, my new done TV email, 
Then I will sit down and review my approach. What is it that I need to do? What am I doing wrong? You know, this thing is simple. Until you run with men feedback, your vision in life might not come to might not be attained. But that's not what we are talking today. So the first thing to do to continue is that keep your vision in view. Number two, invest your energy in one thing, not many things. You know, Bishop Bedeko was first a pastor before he became a chancellor, before he became a, all these, having these. If you don't focus on the main thing God has given to you, you can never spread your tentacles. But that's not what we are talking about today. Let me keep focus. Keep your vision in view. Invest your energy in one thing. And keep your goal intact. What is it that you're supposed to do? What are you doing? What are you supposed to do today? <laughs> in 2014 stroke 15, I wrote completely every day. If I don't write one day, I will not sleep. I make it a goal. God will give us understanding. So, review your progress. How am I doing? You are doing right does not mean you are doing right. You are doing right that you are doing okay. You are okay with your result. That does not mean you are perfect. It might mean that you have not made your match. People have not put you where you belong. So listen to people. Don't just run with vision. Listen to people and put everything together. Lastly, as we end here today, maintain your focus. Know why you are doing what you are doing. These five things, I'm very sure if you put them to check, your life is going to change. Once again, this is Talk to Life. Early morning on Limited Inspiration with Roti Miyadidoku. Like I said, We'll be going live, whatever you are seeing on audio right now, you'll be seeing me live on Instagram. If you're on Instagram, please look for Roti Miyade Dokun or I am Roti Miyade. I am Roti Miyade. Add me up, follow me up. I'm live right now on Instagram. If you're on Instagram, you're going to see me. But on YouTube and Facebook, you will not see my face. But only on Instagram, you will see me. Hey Amen. I know some of you say, why not? I say, I don't know. That's just what we have for now. And uh, we make something happen. Please, 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 and please remember continuity is the rule of the game of life. If you're not somebody that loves continuity, you are not playing the game right. I will be right back as a round up today. Okay, welcome back. This is Talk to Life. Early morning on limited inspiration with Roti Mia De Dokun. Thank you for joining me today. It's another week. I want you not to make it a wasteful week. It's another week. I don't want you to make it a dependent week. It's another week. I want you to brace up, be strong, go in your might and make something happen. My question today as we round up this morning, what is the project that you have been doing that God has given you to do that you stop to do because there is no money, because people don't support you? Dust your certificate, get things back to work, and go push some more, push some more. One thing that I tell a lot of ladies this, if you are in a, in, 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 in a theater room and you're trying to have baby and the head of the baby comes out, people will not congratulate you. They will just let you know that the head of the baby is out. Until you can push the entire baby out of your body. That was when you will hear the word congratulation. It's a boy. It's a girl. So in life, apply the same thing. 
See yourself as a pregnant woman going into the labor room of life. Because you have one result doesn't mean you are a celebrate. You have to keep having more results. That's when people will celebrate you. So I come to ask you one thing today. Please go back to your vision. You can make it happen. Go back to your relationship. That beautiful lady, that beautiful, that handsome guy who loves you. Go back to them. Ask God for forgiveness and continue your Christian race. Don't allow anybody to tell you you are going to hell. The only person who is going to hell is the devil. If you can beg God for forgiveness, your, your God will give you another chance and your future is guaranteed. Once again, I am Roti Me at Dedokuan. This is Talk to Life, early money on limited inspiration. I love to see you tomorrow, immediately after coming out our, our, our prayer, I think after 7.30 or 6.30 Nigerian time, I will be live to show you another strong, powerful word for the day that will give, help you to run through the day. I'll see you at the other side. Be blessed. Once again, this is Talk to Life. Remember to send me email at mynewdontv at gmail. If you know you can read motivational text, and summarize it. Whatever you are, around, you are around the world, I'm going to pay you if you do it. I just want to tell you, I need to get some people on board. We have a big vision. We've tried it with some people who are not ready, but we want to make it happen. Please email me, mynewdontv at gmail.com if you can summarize book and much more. Nobody gets my, my question today. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.